Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. All right, guys. So um, this is for all Sagittarius. Um, if you have Sagittarius in your chart, then this reading is for you. If you're a cross watcher, you're welcome also. Um, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also, guys, keep in mind that I always meditate and pre-shuffle. So let's see what comes out for my Sagittarius. During meditation, Sagittarius, what I was getting for you is that you guys are closing out a lot of old cycles. You're moving forward. Um, you're focused on your finances and career. And also, some of you guys have new love coming in. Okay, so let's see. Sagittarius. What is the most important message that needs to come through for Sagittarius? We're going to kind of get a feel of what's going on in your world, Sagittarius, with this Oracle deck. And then we'll further clarify messages for my Sagittarius. What's, what is the energy around my Sagittarius out there? Most important message. Of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This cannot and will not resonate with every single Sagittarius out there. But don't forget to check other signs in your chart. Messages for my... Okay. Ooh, I think we got four cards. All right. Plenty of fish in the sea. That's that closing out cycles. Caged heart. Damaged. Casual dating. Rose-colored glasses possessiveness mind uh, satin sheet seduction on the bottom of the deck all right so Sagittarius I feel like you're realizing that um, you're closing out cycles okay because there's plenty of fish in the sea that is going to treat Sagittarius right some of you could be dealing with the Pisces um with that fish there, I'm being drawn to say Pisces. Um, caged heart. This also came out in meditation and pre-shuffled that there's been a lot of hurt around you. That the reason why you're closing out cycles and the reason why you're trying to move forward in your life. I feel as though you are dating, casual dating, or this is that new love that is coming in where there's going to be some dating. Um, possessiveness is here, mine, and then rose-colored glasses. So I feel as though there is an X that is coming through that also was coming through in the pre-shuffle um, in meditation that there is this X that doesn't want to let you go. Now, I didn't want to say it because I know a lot of you guys don't like to hear about the X in readings, but it's definitely coming through. Don't, don't get mad at the messenger. But there's somebody who's coming through who feels that you're theirs, okay? Um, Rose-colored glasses is here. I feel like you also have someone looking at you as you can't do any wrong. And so I feel like there's multiple people coming through because you have realized that there's plenty of fish in the sea and you don't have to deal with the hurt. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else comes out. That's the vibe that I'm getting. All right, so... Let's see. And then, of course, like I said, we have Satin Sheet Seduction. Um, and then we have Perfect Match in early stages. So some of you guys definitely have new love coming in. Um, hopefully, you guys can see um, those cards that I just showed you. All right, so let's see what else comes out from my Sagittarius pertaining to this situation. Messages for my Sagittarius pertaining to this situation all right let's see messages from my Sagittarius oh okay that's where it fell that's where we'll begin all right so coming out at the center of your reading Sagittarius we have the strength card okay all right so Leo energy could be dealing with the Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart um, clarifying that we have the son of swords okay so there is some spying going on here okay there's a lot of action that you have taken to regain your power to regain your strength um, some of you have had to rebuild yourself after whatever this was that really hurt you that really damaged your heart okay um, some of you guys feel very guarded okay um, let's look at the crossing energy. 
crossing energy, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. But there's no worry, because look at this new love. Or, or this, so some of you guys is going to be rekindled love, but I feel as though uh, since I saw that new love um, during meditation, a lot of you guys have new love or this new energy of love that is being re-sparked. Guys, I know I, I broke my nail. So um, there's this new energy here, this new energy that is very solid, very stable, this soulmate type of energy, this two of cups type of energy that feels very good. Um, and it's probably because you're dating, because you realize that there's plenty of fish in the sea. And somebody is looking at you through rose-colored glasses. You can't do wrong. But also somebody from your past is like, that. no, this person is mine. Sagittarius is mine. All right, so at the foundation, we have the Seven of Wands, okay? And the Three of Cups. So yeah, I am picking up third-party energy here, okay? For some of you guys, for some of you guys, you're just more focused on protecting um, what you feel is important, particularly to you. You're in this mode of really just having fun with the three of cups here, being cheerful, casually dating, realizing that there's plenty of fish in the sea. You could be dating three different people. OK, um, so you're very protective over, you know, not going back to something old. Or not going back to an old way um, is what I'm hearing. Also, you're just very much in this mode, Sagittarius, where you're no longer taking people's stuff. You're standing up for yourself. You may have had to stand up to yourself, uh, stand up for yourself um, with three different people. Okay. But all in all, I feel like you're just dating, you're having fun. Um, something feels like it's very solid trying to come in. In the recent past, we have the Emperor and we have the Four of Swords. Okay, so taking your power back. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys are dealing with a person at a distance from you. And they're thinking about you quite a bit. Could be an Aries. Some of you guys are really focused on um, what you feel that your life should be like and how stable it should be. Okay. Um, some of you guys are taking a break from somebody who was very controlling. That's what that is. Right there. Mind, possessiveness. This is that emperor energy. You taking a break from somebody who was very possessive over you, maybe even very controlling, thought they were like your father. That could be very specific. All right, so let's take a look at what's in the thoughts. We have the chariot. Yeah, moving forward. Forward momentum, okay? And it's coming out with the daughter of pentacles. So some of you guys are moving forward with a daughter. Like you have to move on with your daughter. You guys are relocating, moving, traveling, doing something. Um, some of you guys are moving forward and there's a lot of stable communication that is here. A lot of planning that is going into something because this is coming out in the thoughts. So there is this thought of forward movement. There is this thought of rebuilding yourself, okay? Um, if you're dealing with somebody at a distance, they're definitely going to be moving forward and calling you and speaking some type of um, something true. This person may be bringing you a gift, something very tangible. All right, so near future, we have the son of, the son of wands. Okay. And we have the two of wands. All right, so I feel like this this is past energy. This is the person who's possessive. I feel like they want you back, okay? This person is, is still making plans for you in their future. So you could still be in communication with this person. Um, some of you are, some of you aren't. Or this person may have recently reached out to you. And because this is coming out in the near future, they may be reaching out to you in the near future. This person is waiting for you to reach out to them because I'm seeing the three of 
wands with these two wands and this wand. This person is waiting for you to reach out to, to them. Um, this is, uh, uh, son of wands can also be a very passionate energy where this person, if you're at a distance from this person with the with the three of wands I'm looking at, this person is very passionate towards you and they can't wait to see you. Um, for some of you guys, you were definitely dealing with a player type of your energy that is wanting you to come back. All right, so let's look at hopes and fears. We have the nine of pentacles. So is there a fear of being single? A fear of being independent? Nope, not with this clarifying. This is a hope of being independent, of being self-sufficient, of um, being eager to be able to do things on your own. So I feel like that's what you're in right now. You're making very wise decisions. You're cutting things off that don't serve you. You're being cold towards things that do not grow, that are not abundant. Some of you guys are just really focused on your stability and really focused on your money, okay? All right, it's this cloth and nails do not go together, okay? All right, so external to your situation, we have the hair fonts. Okay, somebody could be married. External to you, you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, and the Nine of Cups. Somebody could be drinking a lot to deal with a marriage that isn't working out. Um, this person... This person could, I don't know why I'm hearing this, and this is probably very specific. This could be a pastor <laughs> um, who's praying a lot. Somebody's praying for you a lot, um, external to you. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm being told to clarify this. You guys are the first person I've had to clarify for. So, let's see. With this hair of fonts and nine of cups here. Somebody could be wishing to marry. Wishing they've been wishing to find you. This could be that ex thinking about you, but this is usually external to you. Tell me about this hair of font and this nine of cups. Why is the hair of font and the nine of cups here for my Sagittarius? Why is the hair of font and the nine of cups here for my Sagittarius? Okay, right, so let's see what flipped up. There's that hair on again, peeping out the two of rods. All right, this is just too many cards. I'm not gonna take all of these because I don't wanna get it too confusing. Why is the hair font and the nine of cups here? Why is the hair font and the nine of cups here? Tell me about this hair font and nine of cups. Why are these cards here from my Sagittarius out there? Bam. Okay. We have, look at that, the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups. All right. So I feel like this person is hoping that the right person comes. This could be that new love that is coming in because this is external to you. And perhaps this hasn't came in yet. This um, Two of Cups of energy, this Queen of Cups of energy, where some of this hairifying energy, somebody is wishing for a connection. Um, the person that you've been wishing for, Sagittarius, they're wishing for you too. And with this uh, um, Will of Fortune here, you're on the right track, okay? You're on the right path to getting to this person. Some of you are already dealing with somebody new because you realize there's plenty of fish in the sea. You're casually dating. You and this person is dating. So someone is thinking about you. All right, how does your person feel? We have the eight of swords, okay? For others of you, there is a marriage here. And it's, it's a marriage that um, the other person may be blindsided that this person is sneaking away with you. Somebody you're dealing with could definitely be married, um, especially with this Eight of Swords coming out for some of you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Daughter of Swords is here, okay? I feel like this person, um, somebody is really a overthinking. Somebody feels really bound to you. And I feel like this is that possessive person that is kind of taking over your reading. So if there is this new energy here, 
it feels like this past person doesn't want to let you go, okay? They're, they feel bound to you. They're, they're thinking about you quite a bit because this, these eight swords and this swords make the nine of swords. This person can't stop thinking about you. Somebody does see you through rose color glasses also with this coming out and this coming out. So I feel like you're dating multiple people with this casual dating and somebody is looking at you different, also with plenty of fish in the sea. How are you feeling? Seven of pentacles. So we have repeating um, nines also. So definitely look up angel nine, nine. Also repeating sevens. All right, so um, we have the seven of pentacles and look at that, mother of cups. Listen, you're not putting work into things that do not serve you. You're not putting work into, you're no longer putting work into things that don't bring some type of harvest, that doesn't bring some type of happy conclusion. You're putting yourself first with this mother of cups here. You're thinking about your self-love and you're only putting energy into things that serve you. And that's just how you feel. Overall outcome, we have the hanged man and we have the star. All right, Aquarius energy. So, um, yeah, there's this energy of you really looking at things differently, really looking at things from a different perspective. Somebody could be looking at you differently and looking at you from a different perspective, looking at you as the star. We have Pisces and Aquarius energy. Um, you're meant to shine, Sagittarius, with the star card here. Okay, something may feel uh, like you're you're having to make a huge decision, a huge shift in your life, um, and it is happening with the star card here. Something feels very blessed, but it feels like you may have to be patient with it. All right, we have the Queen of Wands here, or the Mother of Wands. You're looking very good, okay? Um, and the people see it, okay? Um, you're very physically beautiful. You're also passionate, but you're also protective of your energy. Look how she's protecting those eggs. We have the Mother of Cups here, Mother of Wands here. You're very protective over your children right now. Um, also, Whatever this passionate offer is, it reminds me of the Ace of Wands. Whatever this passionate offer is, you're holding on to it tightly. And I feel like there's this really good energy that is here for you. We have Temperance here and the Ten of Wands. So yeah, you're getting over something that you once never thought that you could get over. Sagittarius energy. Six of Pentacles is here, Son of Cups. So again, you're only putting energy into things where it feels like an equal give and take of energy. And there's that casual dating, okay? I feel like you're doing that. Look at that seven of cups is there. So you have other options, okay? You have other options and that's why you're casually dating, but I feel like you're looking at somebody differently or somebody is looking at you differently. And then you have an ex popping up that doesn't wanna let you go. All right, so let's get some advice for you. Let's see what the advice is going to be for you. Let me just pick these up first. All right. What is the advice for my Sagittarius out there? Advice for my Sagittarius. What is the advice from a Sagittarius? Okay. Ooh. Yep. Tower. Huge shifts. Magician. Emperor. Death card. Wow. All right. So. Oh. You are ending something huge, okay? There's a huge shift and transformation that either happened in your life that made you realize that, hey, why am I staying stuck on somebody who keeps breaking my heart, okay? Huge shift, huge transformation, all right? You do need to be careful of this ex because I feel as though they are possessive with this devil card here. They don't wanna let you go. Okay, they feel very attached to you. 
and there is some manipulation going on here with the magician here this person could actually be using magic on you but they're not stop oh i didn't even notice this the emperor and the empress stacked on top of each other they're not stopping whatever this new love is this new connection is because this emperor they are seeing you with rose colored glasses they see you as their match that two of cups what that what was going on external with all those cups and this person really does there if, if they if you haven't if they haven't came in they're coming in for you and they are a match for you but there is a jealous ex here there's a possessive not even jealous possessive like you're a piece of property um and you're theirs they never thought you would be able to break free from them and that's why that strength card kept coming out they never thought you would be able to break free from them we have the temperance card uh, the hangman and the lovers a full card this new beginning this new fresh start is coming in and for you you're putting this on pause okay you're healing from the past and this love look at that emperor empress and the lovers oh I, you can't make this stuff up and the full card on the bottom of the deck there's that fresh start it will require a leap of faith it will require decisions could be between these two people which path are you gonna take so if this person hasn't came in yet for you, they're coming in. So don't just go back to an ex because it hasn't came in yet. All right, let's see. Let's get some romance angels for my Sagittarius romance. Okay, let's see. This is a lot of cards. We have this could be the one. Oh, that's that emperor, empress, and lovers card. We have, look at that release your ex see and make the effort for this new person attraction something you've been attracting you're being told to release this possessive person okay you've been told to release this person because whatever this emperor empress and lovers is this could be the one it's time to make the effort all right so let's get one more oracle love letters what does Sagittarius person want them to know Something you've been attracting is coming in for you. What does Sagittarius person want them to know? We have, I just don't see how this could work. And we see, we have, I am seeing you in a whole new light. Look at that. I miss you. Listen, this past person, what that say? I'm scared of losing you. This past person, they think they've lost you. They can't see how you're going to come back to them. They, they can't figure it out because I don't feel like you are going to go back to this person. They are seeing you in a new light because you're walking away from them and they're scared of losing you and they do miss you, okay? But what did the cards say? Release that ex that's possessive, okay? We also have this person right here that says, I wanna grow old with you. That's that emperor and that empress. We also see in that hair font, okay? So... I think you have some decisions to make, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages. Good luck.